Hi guys and welcome to my video. This is going to be a totally different video that I've done before. But I'm not sure if you've seen on social media, um, YouTube channels have been doing dupes and stuff like that. These are artist brushes, they're the dupe ones. But I got this for $17.99 on eBay and I thought I'm going to try to see what the hype is. So I'm going to show you guys what it is and I'll link below where I got them from. So it literally it comes, they are a little cheap packaging. But you get what you buy. And I ain't got the money for, I think it's $58 for one brush. So this is the brushes they come in and I've just dropped them all. And you open them. And they look like that. I have tried them out once before. I have um, an acrylic holder come in. Obviously I ordered it afterwards. But yeah, they don't tell you what's for what. So I'm just going to guess. So I think this is just for foundation and like blending out. This I would say is for contouring, like to blend out contour. But they are like, they're very soft and like dense bristles and they bend a little. And you get a brush cleaner with this, which I'll show you. At the end of the video I'll take a photo for you. Um, I think this is for more definition and contour. And I think I would use this for your nose, and the bristles are quite dense there, and they're soft. Um, this I would use for definite, definite, defined lines to make sure the contour. I would use this one for eyeliner or no, eyebrows, because this is more smaller. Let me just have a look. Yeah, so I would definitely use this for eyebrows. I would use. This one for eyeliner, this one scares me a little bit because I've never used a brush like this. Um, this I'd probably use maybe my lips or mm -hmm. maybe my eyes. And then you have bigger ones obviously for contouring. And I think I'd use this one for lips, it's a small one. But I'll take a picture of each one, how it comes. And yeah, so this is going to be a, I'm going to try it out. So it goes. I don't think I've ever worked very well last time. So we're going to try it out and I hope you like the video. Keep on watching. So I'm just going to prime my face with moisturiser like I usually do. Follow the other routine if you don't know what to use. But I'm just going to do this quickly because I don't need to brush this first. Put mine in the hair because I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, Very sweaty because I'm out. Just took those behind my ears. So then, after you've done that, you want to prime your face, which again, I wouldn't use a brush for, and I just use Max Factor. I use Max Factor Primer, and just rub it in. And let it dry. Oh, it looks good. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go in with this 24 hour new long lasting makeup foundation from Rimmel. Um, it's got SPF, SPF 20 in it. Um, yeah, I will do the writing as well on the screen. Just let it float along here. And yeah. So, I'm going to put on my face because I'd rather not put it on the brush. I'm just, just radically dab. So, I'm going to use this big one. It's a little scary. Um, I will use set and spray on it. This is NYX Matte Finish. Finny Matte. So, I'm going to spray it a couple of times. And we're going to... Hmm. Actually... This is really good. It is kind of weird to get used to. Mm. 
Hmm. Like when I say like I've used them, I literally have just used it on my foundation, so this is the only brush I've used. But it's very soft, easy to blend, it's a bit slippery, like it's because my hands are greasy. It seems really good. That literally has blended it all out and you couldn't even tell. Hmm. So after that, this has done that in. I will go on for cream contour. So I just use this from eBay, and I think I'm gonna use a small brush. I'll read it out because I just we've got numbers on. So this is a number six brush. So number six, and I use it in the, the second for darkest colour. I'm not going to lie, this is very, it's not awkward, but as soon as you get used to it, it'll probably be fine. But this is a bit, it's very, I find harder. But I think I could probably work with it. And then I'm going to go in with a lighter shade on the same brush and just put that on there so it blends a little bit nicer. So, that was a number six and the foundation brush is number one. So I'm probably going to blend out with the nose with a number five, but I am going to spray this one down because I don't, I don't know if it picks up by the brush too much, so. Well. That is pretty incredible. Usually I'll be sat there for ages, rubbing and trying to get rid, well not get rid, blend in my contour. But this is so easy. And I'll probably go back in with this brush, fluffy brush, just to make sure there's no brush line. But I think that's pretty goddamn amazing. So I do like to go back in with a powder, and I will use a number. I think it's a number four. This one's very dense. Mm. Sorry if you hear rushing in the back to my rat. She's not very well. Very old. She's got a massive lump. But I think she's not too good. But we'll be taking her to a vet soon, so. And then we'll go back in with the number three and blend that bad boy out. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna add some blush. This is just Calvin. Sorry, oh. that one was a clap mirror and mineral mineral radiance from Bourgeois. 
Um, now we need to have Klein. I think it's called Peach Perfect. So just on the apples of our cheeks. I'm going to use that number four, four again. Just there. And just there. And we're going to go back in with the number three. See this? I'm getting the numbers. And let's blend that bad boy out. Oh, don't forget your concealer. I'm going to add it in the triangle. Like that. And we're going to go and use probably a number five. But again, spray it and this work in. that product and bring it down a little bit. Just moving up that line there. Wow. All I can say is wow. I'm um, gonna get powder, which is this just from is it from HD across them. HD brows, but this is the powder. Um, so I pick it up with a big brush, the uh, number one brush. Let's tap that in because we want that to stay. I think these would be perfect on other people as well. So, oh, is my head sweaty? That product on. So yeah. I would usually use the highlighter last, but I'm going to use a number six just to grab the highlight in there. Shouldn't have took that much. And there. I would usually use the fan brush for this, but I think I was ticked to using the fan brush. Oh, let's go away. And then gold dust. <clears throat> My box is broken, and I'll just pat it down again. Blend that out. And so far, I think that is pretty good for £17, I think. Because I paid £26 for some uh, professional brushes. So I'm just trying to fix with some professional brushes. And yes, they're very good, and I don't deny they're very good. But at the same time, some of the dupe brushes that I buy, I got from eBay, um, are just as good. Admittedly, they don't last as long. But they are, they're good. And these, I think, are definitely worth spending the money on before. If you want to try them out, see what they look they're like. They literally, say, they do what they say the packaging. And I think that they're, for what they are, and I've never, I thought they were awful. But I got them because I wanted to know what the hype was. So we're all on that hype pipe thing. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to go do my eyebrows. Um, but I'm just going to get the product and I'll be back in a second once I've changed with this round and I'll see you soon. So guys, like I said, I'm back. We're going to work with our eyebrows. So I'm going to use this Brow This Way by Rimmel and I think it's a dark short look. But yeah, we're just going to 
brush this on and blend it out with one of these brushes. moment I am feeling. So I'm going to take a number seven and just try and So I think we need to go in with a lighter shade. And this is 37 Brow Bar. Just try and lighten that up. So I wouldn't, I can't work with that, so I'm going to go back to my trusty pencil and try and make these massive slugs into my brows. So I will go back in there and touch them up. So have you ever had a dog that's so needy? Well, this one right here, you can't see him. He's the biggest needy little bugger ever. So we're gonna go on with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the Avon palette here. It's just a smoky eye effect and it's just got light, it's like a coppery colour, then a brown colour and a dark chocolate brown. So we're gonna go in with a little brush here to use and the base colour And then I'm going to use the same brush to use the copper colour on. The only thing I'd say is that it doesn't, it takes a lot to pick up colour on it. So I'll just spray it. I think that may be because it's new, that's why it's taken a while to just put the colour on. So. Mm. 
and I'll probably use a different brush, probably a the one I tried to use the eyebrows on the dark colour. Very good in getting the crease. So let's try again with this one. Remember, this is my wonky side, I cannot move it very well. Um, but I think this is very good at getting a crease, to find your natural crease. And then I use the little one, which is a number eight and the darkest colour to the actual corner. I will go back in with my fluffy brush, not these brushes to blend out. I'm going to try with my gel eyeliner for this little one, but I'm not very confident with this brush because I got a trusty little brush that I use and I don't think it's gonna work. To be fair, that's not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And it's crazy. Damn. Oh, I'm sure it's about too thin. But obviously, this is going to be a bit different because I can't. Okay, wow. Well, that is very good for eyeliner underneath your eyes with the gel eyeliner. And we'll go back over it. Actually, I don't think I will. Two seconds while I just touch up the bits I've just smudged in. What I got was some concealer and I've also got a fluffy brush there and it's gonna blend out here and here. So you can see I've totally fucked up there and it's gonna pop out there. I'm going to leave my fingers to the earth because it's easier just to quickly do it that way. I am going to go back in with some dry eyeliner, uh, some normal eyeliner. 
to do my flick. I'm just going to add a wee bit of mascara and this is just Avon Shocks in Jet Black. So for lips we are going to use, just um, pucker up, it's just got a tint of pink in it and I can't open it. There we go, it's just a tint of pink. Um, we're going to use a number 10 brush, just swatch that in there. So overall, with those brushes, I would say I would use them as a foundation contour brush and probably a lip brush, but I still probably just use the little brushes I've got. But they are very, very good for the price you've got, and I probably would like them better if I knew how to use them. So I think that's going to take practice. But at a 10 for value money, I'd give them a 9 only simply because they are so expensive for a brush if you're brand new to this but I think they're f they are very 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 good um, for overall performance I'd give them a 6 out of 10 just because I am shocking at doing the eyes with the, um, the eyebrows with the brushes but I would definitely use them again I will try and use them more and I'll give add them into more routines if you like that um, but I'd give them for foundation an 8 out of 10 but I still because I'm in a habit of using the beauty blender and brushes and stuff like that it's totally different so I will try more and probably my opinion will change and just try them out for yourself 79 you know, what you're going to lose they are instead of buying one brush for the artiste brushes for 58 dollars and get one brush, seventeen ninety nine. You get the whole packet, and you get the brush cleaner as well. So, why don't have a look at the link below? Click it. If you don't like it, don't click it. This is not a sponsored video, and yeah. So, if you like these, I've also got other things coming. I've got a Kylie Jenner lip thingy coming. So, see you guys soon. Please like, subscribe, and comment.